diabetic, pediatrics. I said I needed the blood work now. I got your message. Any change? Yeah. There's change. Mr. Green's running out of time. Bob. His name is Bob. He's a real person. And he won't make it through the day. Hello, Kevin. Chris, I understand you had a conversation with my wife last night. Yeah, how's she feeling? She was uh, pretty concerned. How about Levy? Yes, I know. And you are, after all, an expert on the subject. Uh, well, you know, Eve set up our meeting. She had some questions. I just told her what I could. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you think you're doing, Chris, but you're on thin ice. Kevin, all I'm doing is having lunch with Livy. Now, know. if you'd like you to join us... You and Livy are such wonderful special friends. She tells you everything. But we both know that she's hurting. I just want to do what I can to help. That was good. I almost believe that. Almost. Listen, I ordered some sandwiches. Ooh, and they put little baby carrots. I'll share with you. I actually got two big ones. You want some? Thank you, but I'm meeting Chris. Really? Yeah. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, can I come in? Look, I was just leaving. Look, sweetheart, I, I know that, that we're having some problems, but we really do need to talk. Well, I can't imagine what there is to say. There's lots. Lots. I mean, now that you know the truth about Kevin, there's really nothing to Look, can we us. just cut to the chase? I really need to be somewhere. Yeah, sure. Uh, I really want you to move back in with me. Wow. You really have lost your mind, haven't you? You've done a lot for my daughter, and I do appreciate it, but this is between her and me. I already told you, there's nothing... Oh, uh, you... you know what? She is my friend. I happen to have grown very fond of her. I care a lot about her. Livy has an amazing spirit. You just need to give her a little room to grow. I don't need you to tell me about my daughter. Well, apparently and obviously you do. She just needs a little room stop to grow it. and bloom. Stop it! Both of you! Just stop! I'm right here! Don't act like I'm not here! You're right. Sorry about that. I don't need you to stand up for me. I know. Well, you heard her. So why don't you just go get your things, and then we can go. Look, I'm not going anywhere with you. Not as long as you feel like you have to control me. I don't do that. I, I never have. You always have. Well, I can see they turned you against me. <sighs> no, Mom, you did that all by yourself. I think you should leave. Is that what you really want? It is. I love you. And I'm very sorry I hurt you. Just call me, okay? Look, I have to get ready or Chris will think I stood him up. said we can make this a table for three if you like i wouldn't that would only upset livy or doesn't that matter to you you know for a shrink i guess you don't really listen that well i told you i'm fond of her no more no less a night in shining armani with no hidden agenda so i suppose it's just a coincidence that she's angry at both me and her mother at exactly the moment that she's bonding with you 
No, it's not a coincidence. It's a sinister pattern. And, and that pattern would be what? Oh, oh, that's easy. Rachel and I are the people that you blame for Julie disappearing. <laughs> but we didn't drive her away, Chris. She ran out on you because she couldn't cope with the real world. I warned you about that, and you wouldn't listen. You would have kept her locked away for Because she was still sick. And you fed her illness. Julie wanted a quick fix, and you found her a quack that would give her one. But it was only a patch. And when that fell apart, so did Julie, and so did your marriage. So like it or not, that's your fault. You know, I don't really need marital counseling from a man whose wife spends all her time with another guy. Don't project your marital failures onto me any. <laughs> If thinking that makes you feel better, then go right ahead. But tell me, where is Eve right now? At GH, helping people. Something you wouldn't know about. But you know, that's okay. These things have a way of coming out in the wash. What goes around comes around. Karma. You know? Living, table's ready. Renal and hepatic failure. His body's shutting down. Well, he's had dialysis. It's not making any difference. He's becoming hypoxic. We'll have to intubate him. I don't think so. He's got a DNR. I know it's hard for you to accept, but it's hard for me to accept also. <sighs> Whatever's attacking his brain is brutal. What a terrible way to die. Is he conscious? In and out. Sometimes he even seems lucid. I thought I heard him call your name. That's why I had you paged. Well, I'm glad you did. I just, I don't want you getting into trouble. The thought never even crossed my mind, Ian. I thought you should be here. Well, here I am. Should we say goodbye? An entire world. What? All his thoughts, his dreams, memories. They're gone forever. I tried to contact any family he might have. And? That's gonna be the hardest thing, to die alone. Hey. He's not alone. You fought like a lion to try and save him. You even put your career on the line. Not a good that did him. Your sister would be proud. <laughs> Bob? Huh. Bob, are you in any pain? Is there anything we can get you? Well, uh, You're in the hospital. But I have to get to the market. I need groceries. I can wait. Am I dying? Yes. I'm sorry. We are here for you. If there's anything you need, we are right here. Thanks, Iris. I was worried about you. I'm glad you're here. Bob, who is Iris? Iris, she helped. Bob, you mean Iris DeMarco? Bob! Is it, is it possible that he knows Iris DeMarco? I, I forgot to tell you what, I, what happened yesterday, what I found out. At Hillhurst? Yeah. Was Iris there? Well, she had been. Another patient told me that they took her away. Wait a minute, who's they? Guys in uniform, and she uh, drew out the logo. This is the exact same logo that we found on Bob's medical bracelet in his apartment. Right. 
You're not hungry? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Well, I, I've heard a lot about your wife and that whole situation. Mm, former wife. Former. Right. Well, I get the feeling that most people thought you were wrong when you stood up for her. I never really cared what most people thought. But she had done terrible things. Well, she had terrible things done to her. Someone played with her mind, made her do things that she couldn't control. She was sick, but she got better. Well, how come no one could see that but you? We were soulmates. Some people couldn't stand to see that, so they had to get in the way. What people? Look, it doesn't matter. They got what they wanted. So if your wife hadn't left, you would have never given up on her? No, never. I admire that. You did what you thought was right, and, and you didn't care what anybody thought. Most of the time, I can't even figure out what the right thing is. <sighs> yes, you can, Livy. You can. But it's like I'm being torn in a dozen directions all the time. Go this way. No, go that way. So just tell them all to shut up. People can't jerk you around unless you let them. Are you saying what's happened to me is my fault? No, I'm asking you. Do you want to be a victim the rest of your life? Just a minute. You stay away from my daughter. I cannot believe you actually followed me here. That is... Listen, your daughter happens to like me better than you. I can't help that. Oh, you say I'm crazy? You're delusional, lady. Okay. Then let's do the logical thing, shall we? Step by step. Number one. Livy is living with me. She chooses to live with me, not Look, you. Keep away from Livy, or you'll regret it. Oh, wait, that's right. I forgot. You've never been a mother. So you don't know how dangerous we can be. Excuse me. Is this a cat fight? I'm about to break up on my porch? Well, no, this stalking lunatic sort of followed me over here. I was just coming to talk to you. Why am I not surprised? You know what? I think we should call animal control. Please, you know, I'm going to say one thing. I want you both away from my daughter, and I want you to stay away. One more time, Rachel. Livy is 18, which makes her an adult, which means you don't get to pick her friends anymore. I am still her mother, and I have the duty and the right to protect her. What the nerve? You know, I can't believe you're even saying that. You have the gall to, to say that you have parental rights over Lucy, Livy. Lucy, Lucy, that's enough. No, no, what do you mean by that? What I mean, Rachel, is that if you hadn't lied to your daughter in the first place, we wouldn't be all involved in this ridiculous mess. You know what? I would lie. I would cheat. I'd steal. I'd do anything to keep her safe. Is that clear enough for you? Just stay away from her. Soapnet, devoted to soaps and you. So at one point, Bob and Iris ended up in the same place. Bob. Bob, can you hear me? Bob, how do you know Iris DeMarco? Ian. What? what? Come here. He can't hear you. And even I... if he could answer you, he's delusional. So what, we never solved this? No, we will find another way. We will. And uh, thanks for offering an opinion on that patient. Oh, been perfect. And if he sees me in here, I'm... No, 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 no. Don't all cut him off at the pass. Go, 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 hide. How's Mr. Green? He's unconscious. His breathing is labored. This is probably it. Oh, well, then I'm, I'm clearly not needed here. I'll let you get on with things, Mark. Rachel, I'd like to see him. Why? You didn't want him here in the first place. What I want are beds for patients. We might have a chance of saving. And Mr. Green could be moved to a hospice. I'm his doctor here. And I outrank you. So get out of my way. No, I don't want your face to be the last thing Bob Green sees. What are you doing? I'm turning off the machines. This man's dead. I'm sorry. Yeah. I bet Mr. Green is too. Since you killed him. Are 
Are you out of your mind? Oh, I'm sorry. You I ought am to sorry. be. You almost let it slip that we might know who Libby's real parents are. And worst of all, you almost did it in front of Rachel, the one person that I don't want to tip off. Lucy, if she figures out that we're onto her, there is no telling what she might do. Oh, wait a minute. She's kind of in a bad position, too. She has lied to absolutely everybody, but telling them she's Libby's mom. If we expose that lie, we push her into a corner. And that means she could fight back. And she might do it by telling the world who Livy's father is. Doc, are you saying you're beginning to believe it is you? <sighs> the evidence is mounting. Well, how does that make you feel? That I might have a daughter I never knew existed? How do you think that makes me feel? Um, confused, bewildered, um, bamboozled, flabbergasted? That pretty much sums it up, yes. But, Doc, it's okay. You know, this could be a really good thing. You would make an absolutely wonderful father. Gee, you really think so? Oh, come on. You know how much I wanted to have a baby with you. <sighs> Lucy, that's because we loved each other. This is the way I assumed I'd always have children with a woman I loved. Well, you know, I guess things worked out for the best. You ended up with Eve. I thought a lot about us having children, too. <sighs> and here I might already have a child with Grace, no less. Okay, look, I, I know Grace did some terrible, terrible things. <sighs> and I thought it was finally over, Lucy. Now I find out that even from the grave, she can play her sick little mind games. What? What, is, what does that mean? I mean, she told me that she'd been pregnant and that she'd had an abortion. I didn't even have a chance to weigh in on it. She just told me, and it was over. That is so unbelievably cruel to actually have a baby and tell the father that you aborted it. That's awful. And what if she lied, Lucy? What if she lied and she had the child, and that child is Livy? Well, then, a horrible, disgusting story turns out to have a happy ending, Doc. You get Livy, and you would be wonderful with her, and she would love you, and so it would have happily meeting, ever... So far, my meeting Livy has not made anyone happy. <sighs> ever since I took on that case, even I have been drifting further and further apart. G give her time. Evil, come around. But what about Livy? All she has is Rachel's version of whatever happened to poor Aunt Grace, and now she believes that I deliberately let the woman drown. Doc, you, you just have to be patient with Livy. She's young. You know, she'll come to know the truth. Yeah, that I had a breakdown, Lucy. Oh, come on. That was years ago. Yeah, and I, and I did things that I'm still ashamed of. Let's just face it, Lucy. I'm not exactly daddy material. You're right. I don't stand up for myself. It's just, well, I thought it didn't matter to you, and I guess it does. Of course it matters. Then why were you mad at me? You are the only friend that I've got left in this world. If I lose you... Livy, then... that's not going to happen, okay? I'm not mad at you. It's just hard... It's hard for me to see you hurting when I, I know you can stop it. But how? Well, you can start by telling Kevin and your mother how angry you are with them. I try, but then I always get scared. Scared they won't love you anymore? Uh, so what? It's, it's better to keep it all bottled up inside? Let them continue to drive you crazy while, until you explode? No, that's not what I want. Then let the anger out now, before you have a meltdown. Yeah. They deserve it, right? I mean, they, they've been lying to me. They've betrayed me. There is a place for a child in your heart, Doc. Your child. But if I am her father, all I've done is make us unhappy. And I know, I, I could walk away, Lucy. But then I'd just be leaving her with Rachel, and she's just a mirror image of Grace. Mom may have lied to protect me, but Kevin lied to protect himself. That makes him even worse than my mother. I swear I will never trust him again. You know what's funny? None of this matters if Livy isn't my daughter. If you could find out right now one way or another. Would you want to do that?
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Poor Charles. You might find yourself with Thornheart in the unemployment line, or maybe even sharing a jail cell. Boardman, you leave her out of this. It's my head you're after. I ran a DNA test. The kids are asleep, and the TV is all yours. It's time to unwind with an encore episode of tonight's All My Children, coming up next on SoapNet. Pure Soap 24-7. You never know who to... This week on...